Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So unfortunately, it seems that the latest Patch Tuesday security update that rolled out for Windows 11 24H2 earlier this week, KB5053598, is causing issues. Now, these issues have not been officially confirmed by Microsoft. These are unofficial reports, so this is these issues are not official known issues, but this is according to reports doing the rounds online and over on Microsoft's Feedback Hub post. Now the first of three main issues that this update is causing, according to reports and the Feedback Hub, is that it's failing to install. Okay, and these are the errors that are being generated in that installation failure process. So you can just pause the screen if you want to check those out. And then the second issue, the main issue that the update is causing is that the remote desktop protocol is disconnecting and reconnecting kind of in a loop. And your remote desktop is found, as you may well know, on your system page uh, in settings. Now, I don't have it because it's not available for the home edition. But basically, a remote desktop allows you to access a computer over a network remotely and is more found in your corporations and enterprise environments. Not really used too much um, with home users, but nonetheless, there are reports that it's basically just disconnecting and reconnecting and causing issues um, for users. And then the third issue apparently is the dreaded blue screen of death, where 5053598 is causing blue screens of death with the error code critical process died and kernel power failure, which is not good. And that means that sometimes, which could mean that you can't actually get into your machine. You are locked out. It's, it just boot loops with a blue screen and you can't actually get access into your OS, which obviously is not um, the best situation to find yourself. Now at this stage, as mentioned, Microsoft has not um, confirmed these issues. And what I would just suggest, if the negatives are outweighing the positives and you can get into your machine, then what I would do is just uninstall the update. I know it's a compulsory mandatory security update that fixes important security issues and patches those. But as mentioned, if, if, if it's causing more headaches and is actually causing more problems and it's trying to resolve, then click on uninstall updates um, at the bottom of your update history page, find the update KB5053598, uninstall it from your system, restart your device. But what I would suggest before restarting is pausing the update at least until the next update arrives because, because it's a compulsory update. If you restart without pausing, it's just going to try and reinstall itself automatically again. But um, just putting it out there, this has come to my attention and I know that 24H2 at the best of times has not really been behaving itself for want of a better word when it comes to stability and you know just running smooth and stable and I would still suggest holding on with 24H2. I said I would post a video eventually when I feel personally that 24H2 is um, a viable choice to upgrade to for Windows 11 if you want to move in that direction. But until that happens, I would wait at least until April, the end of May, um, before even looking in that direction. Uh, because 23H2 of Windows 11 and 24H2 really are more or less getting the same features. And Microsoft is pushing a lot of the 24H2 features out now to 23H2. So in my personal opinion, stick with 23H2 if you can. And give it a couple of months before maybe moving towards 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.